Good morning. Welcome back. This is Pappy Can Do It YouTube channel. I'm Pappy and I can do it. As you can see, I've got my 2014 Harley Ultra in the picture here. I am going to um, going to replace the front brake pads today. Now, not had this bike out yet this year. It's been in the shed and it is filthy. I put a new battery in it already and I replaced the back brake pads and then I thought to myself, hey, before you do the front ones, maybe we ought to record it. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to get the front ones put on and then I'm going to go to the car wash and get the thing all cleaned up. So, so bear with me and we are going to get right through this. So you don't need very many tools at all to do this. So really you need three you need three things. You're going to need now you're going to take these two bolts out right here to take off this caliper. Now these heads or I don't know it's not a star pattern I mean they're just have all kinds of things but a 10 millimeter not the six point I don't know if that's a 12 point or what that is I didn't, I'm not going to count them the 10 millimeter 12 point does good on that so you're going to need that and then you're going to need a 3 16 allen wrench um, that's going to release that bolt right there that holds the pads in and then you're going to need something to push the pistons back out and I just use this here little tool so I'm going to go ahead and break these here loose just like that oh. take these out now if it was like in the summer and I'd already had my bike out and cleaned up and stuff I would probably use some some degreasers and stuff to, to get all this brake dust off the the rotor and the caliper and stuff but I'm gonna go to the car wash and I'm gonna power wash everything I've also aired, aired my tires up my rear tire was at 20 pounds so I aired it up to 40 pounds and then my front one it was low too and I aired it to 36 that's the specs on it so this just comes off. You gotta be careful not to hit your fender. Like that. And then you can see these pads aren't that bad. I just put them in last summer, but they're noisy. They're noisy. So now I'm gonna take this Allen wrench, gonna take this here Allen out. Probably could have done that while it was on the bike, it'd been easier to hang on to. I'm gonna take this bolt completely out. comes out and then that frees up the two pads now before I take these pads out I'm going to take this here tool and very gently I'm going to depress these pistons back into the caliper just like so I just do it really, really easy, and then I don't have a, a brake fluid overflowing or anything like that. All right, now these just come out just like this, lift up on the bottom here, and it pops out. Okay, here's my new ones. They're uh, carbon Kevlar, made in China, so I'm sure they're junk. But if they'll last me a few miles, they're, they're very inexpensive. So if it lasts me a few miles, that's good. Now you want to make sure that this eyelet here is where that bolt comes through. So you want to make sure that it's lined up right. Same thing, you just put the top in first and tilt that down, and it goes right in there. And this side here, same thing. Now, something you want to do, believe it or not, one time I had a car that I bought, and someone put brake pads on it, and they put them inside out. So it was a steel 
on the inside. You want to make sure that the, the actual brake pad material. Now I'm going to go ahead and start this bolt just to keep them from falling out. I'm not going to tighten it or anything yet, but I want to get it started just to keep my pads from falling out. Okay, with them in, installed, I want to make sure they're spread apart as much as I can. That's really important. Then you go back over this rotor that you got both brake pads where they need to be. You gotta wiggle it sometimes, I guess. Okay. Then you just want to slide it back up to where it goes. Of course, anytime the camera's on, you have difficulties, right? And that happens. So again, just make sure that Pads are spread apart. That boat may be holding me. Let's try it without that. Trial and error. No, it wasn't it. Okay, so. Okay, there's a little spring down there that was holding me out. So that's okay. So let's try it again. That's much gooder. Okay, so get them lined up and you'll get these holes started. Get one or the other and you freeze your hand up. Okay, that one just started. All right, now you can kind of look in the hole and get it lined up. All righty. Now I'm just going to run these down snug, not tight yet. And like I said, these are just cheap ones I got on eBay. I think it was like $19 for three sets. But these are hard. Man, they just make, they make so much noise. It's incredible. Alrighty, we put this boat back in there. That's the ride boat. That's what they the brake pads ride on when they open and close. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one up. It don't have to be torqued down or anything. Just just good and good and snug. And that spring goes right back in there, goes right over that boat, just like that. And then now I'm going to go ahead and tighten these up. And again, they don't have to be 50 foot pound torque or anything like that, just, just tighten up. That's it, three tools. 3 16 Allen wrench, 10 millimeter, 12 point, and just a spreading tool. That's all there is. Thanks a lot for watching.